What's going on guys? Welcome back to your 12th video on JavaScript. And now that we're getting more and more familiar with JavaScript, I want to talk about functions because functions are a giant part of any programming language. And all functions really are are just mini programs. That's really just it. Now there's two types of functions. The first type of function is a function that has already been compiled or created by the committee who runs JavaScript. And the second type of functions are the ones we, as the user, can create. So let me first start talking about the functions that have already been compiled by the creators of JavaScript, who were also the guys who created Netscape, which was the first browser back in the dial-up internet days. That's just FYI. That's not going to make you a better programmer. That's just going to give you a little knowledge of JavaScript. OK, so here's how we call functions in JavaScript. Say we have a variable that we just call first var and we give it a value of village park. So I've got one capital V there and I've got a capital P there. I've got a space here and the rest of the characters are lowercase. So let me go ahead and close that out and say that I want to run a program or a function where I can output this but I want it to all be uppercase as well as all be lowercase. Well, there's already functions compiled in JavaScript that are going to allow us to do that. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and output document write. And in our condition, we'll have our variable, which is first var. Now, concatenating is when we add a function to our variable. So we want to add the function of two lowercase to our variable and in JavaScript we do that by just one period right there just add that period and now in camel case we're gonna type in the already uh, compiled function so this is how we do it we need two lower case and we need to give it parameters that's what our parentheses are right here our parameters that's where our, arg our argument or condition is gonna go but we don't have an argument or condition for this we just wanna go ahead and um, output our variable but we want all of our characters inside here to be lowercase and I want to add a break tag in here and this is how we do it inside a condition we're gonna go ahead and add a plus sign and then inside parentheses we'll add a break tag and you could either type it like that or type it like that it doesn't matter the browser will know how to, to render it and let's go ahead and close this out so so okay so let's look back at what we did we created and we're outputting our variable but we're adding the function of two lowercase to it. So let's go ahead and save it and let's open it up in our browser and this V and this P should both now be lowercase. Perfect. Okay, that worked. But what if we want to create another function or output another function that has already been compiled where we want all these to be uppercase? Well, let's go ahead and use another JavaScript function that has already been compiled by the guys upstairs and let's go ahead and call our same exact variable because it's our only one and again we're going to concatenate by using a period and this time in camel case it's just two upper case let's go ahead and add our parameters right there with our plus sign and then let's go ahead and add our break tag so it's not all on the same line let's go ahead and close that out and let's save it now let's reload it this should all be uppercase underneath this line right here this is the program that we just created and let's reload it. There it is, perfect. Okay, so we're learning JavaScript programs right now, or JavaScript functions, aka programs, mini programs, that have already been compiled. And there's another, well, there's tons of JavaScript programs out there, or functions out there, and obviously some are more popular than others, some are used a lot more commonly than others, and I'll just use another one that's pretty common for, um, a lot of JavaScript programmers. Let's go ahead and document right. Let's use our variable that we declared and let's set it to length. And in this case, we don't really want to use a parameter for length. We just want to go ahead and close it out. And we don't need to use a break tag either because this is the last, because we used a break tag here and we're not going to put another, I'm not going to run another function underneath here. So let's go ahead and save this. And this is going to output how many characters that's inside this string. That's what the length function does in JavaScript. It's going to output, this should be close to, I don't know, maybe like 10 or 11 or something. So let's go ahead and save this, and now let's reload it. And it's 12. Okay, so we know that this 
variable right here is a string that is made up of 12 different characters, including that space right there. Okay, so these are functions that have already been compiled by the guys who created JavaScript. And in the next video, let's go ahead and create our own functions. So good luck with this, and I'll see you guys over there.